Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this case, we're going to be answering a question about a so-called vasovagal syncope. In other words, where the blood vessel that regulates the heart and slows it down gets stimulated to the point that the person loses consciousness. And in this particular individual, the person is asking about their wife that has had two significant episodes of vasovagal attack three years apart. The last one recurring in relation to a hot summer's day when she hadn't been eating and she had felt seasick. She went to a cardiologist and electrophysiologist to assess arrhythmias on a so-called tilt table. Now what a tilt table does is it puts the person in the horizontal position and then essentially in a very careful calibrated way assesses how their blood pressure adapts to a change in posture. The outcome of the test, the tilt table, ECG, exercise and ultrasound were normal. However, she was nevertheless prone to get a drop in blood pressure, although it didn't result in a dysrhythmia. It is true that if this individual is in water, then the water and the hydrostatic effect on the legs would be somewhat protective. However, when the person leaves the water, there's a chance that they might collapse when climbing up the steps of, of a boat or getting off the boat gunnel, uh, getting out of the water, uh, into a boat, etc. And in that case, it might be very difficult to distinguish this from arterial gas embolism or severe cerebral decompression illness. And of course, if it's related to a cardiac arrhythmia, and remember that on occasion, severe vasovagal syndromes may be fatal in causing a systole, it is certainly something that would be of grave concern to me. So from what I've read here, my recommendation would on face value be that the person not dive. However, it is a question that should be asked of the cardiologist in conjunction with a knowledgeable diving physician. And the question that is mainly to be asked is whether or not there is a chance that this individual may develop syncope under conditions of getting out of the water. And they may even want to go as far as having this person immersed in water, having their blood pressure taken, and then removing them from the water and seeing what the effect on their blood pressure is. Remember that loss of consciousness while in the water can frequently result in drowning and death, and a severe vasovagal attack may also result in a systole, that is stoppage of the heart and death. And that is not a risk that one takes lightly. So I hope that's given you some pointers on which to ask your cardiologist and diving doctor and that it will give you a way forward to find out whether or not the risk is acceptable or not. Until next time, safe diving.